more on this now with William Lawrence in Washington, D.C. He's a professor of political science and international affairs at American University. Prof, always good to speak to you. Ganucci is now being questioned about inciting statements. Uh, this sort of term, are they just trumped up charges to silence critics of the president? Yes, the exact sentence they supposedly arrested him over was he said that uh, cracking down on all of the political parties, including his, amounted to, in Arabic, which means a project of civil war. And they're saying because he said that, accusing them of potentially the institutions of civil war, he was inciting civil war. I mean, the leadership of the Nehda party, the average age is probably 60. I mean, these are, you know, democratic, octogenarian and septuagenarian and septuagenarian, you know, Islamists who are not flamethrowers, are not going to be attacking the state violently. Um, but that's the image, um, uh, you know, T Tunisians who hate everything Islamist, that's the image they have, and that's what they want to arrest him for. This is the 10th time he's been questioned um, since the coup of the summer of 2021. Uh, usually they do it in the middle of the day, and with some degree of respect, even though they'll keep him for 10 hours, make him sit there uh, unnecessarily. But this time, they attacked his house at night, uh, raided it with maybe a couple dozen security officers on the holiest night of Ramadan, the 27th, uh, and hauled him into, at first, an unknown location, uh, again, on, on spurious, mm -hmm. trumped-up charges. Uh, uh, you know, and every time, it's a different excuse. I mean, it's not like he's committed crimes he's being brought in for. This is about intimidating Tunisian political class and intimidating the citizens into not criticizing the president. And how much intimidation like that, how much does it actually work? Because such a risk could possibly embolden the opposition as well as civilians. Well, that's the $64,000 question, if I can use the American idiom there. I mean, you just don't know. Sometimes repression, let's autocrats stay for decades. Sometimes repression uh, provokes uh, populations to react against you. Uh, and, and, you know, when we study it in political science, you know, autocrats are in some ways rational actors and crowds are rational actors. And crowds will come out if they think they can get change. And right now they're not sure. Um, but, but up until now, a military that was supposed to be apolitical has been siding with the president. Uh, and if you talk privately to military guys, um, they'll, they'll never say we're loyal to this president or loyal to the regime. They'll, they'll say we're loyal to the Tunisian people. And the Tunisian people, the, the military has in 1987, in 2011 and other times, uh, turned on presidents when the people had come out in big enough numbers. This Tunisian population is exhausted. They've lost faith in, in politics and in democracy in many respects. Uh, and they're just not coming out in the numbers you would need to see to tip the balance. But, you know, if this continues, if it gets worse this way, and if you get to 50, 60,000 Tunisians coming out in the main squares of Tunisian cities, uh, you, could, you could predict that possibly there could be a sea change and Kaisei could be forced out of power. But, but right now, um, uh, it, it's easy for Kaisei. He, he does pretty much whatever he wants. Uh, and there isn't much of a response from a population that really wants economic dividends from the revolution, never got them, hoped this guy could deliver, he isn't. And now he's just using his, you know, political repression to stay in power. Professor William Lawrence, always great to get your perspective. Thanks so much for speaking to us.